Two. 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 In the previous experiment, Two. the naive subject stood alone against the group. Two. In this variation, Ash gave the naive subject a partner, here seated in the third position, who also gives the correct response. One. One. Two. One. Mm. Two. With a partner, yielding drops to only 5% of the critical trials compared to 37% without a partner. Although subjects report warmth and good feeling toward the partner, they typically deny that he played a role in their own independence. Two. The partnership variation shows that much of the power of the group came not merely from its numbers, but from the unanimity of its opposition. When that unanimity is punctured, the group's power is greatly reduced. Sometimes we go along with the group because what they say convinces us they are right. This is called informational conformity. But sometimes we conform because we are apprehensive that the group will disapprove if we are deviant. This is called normative conformity. The strength of the normative factor is shown in another variation carried out by Ash. In this variation, the subject is told that because he had arrived late, he would have to write his answers. Subjects in this private response experiment are exposed to the same amount of misleading information as other subjects, but they are immune from any possible criticism by the group. One. 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 And this enormously reduces the pressure to conform. Conformity drops by two-thirds. Ash's experiment is a classic. It reveals how people will deny what they see and submit to group pressure. It allows us not only to observe conformity, but to study the conditions that increase or reduce its occurrence.